Today's video is sponsored by Pup Box. Can you let go of my sweater, please? Ow, you have to let go of my hand so I can make a video. It's always the cute ones that bite the hardest, isn't it? Bite this instead. Pup Box is a monthly box that's designed to help you train your dog. Every box comes with the things that you'll need to train your puppy, like this two month box, for example, has a soft tug toy, a rubber squeaky toy. I mean, that'll get any dog's attention. This Nylabone chew that's great for teething puppies, treats for training. If you have a puppy, you're definitely gonna need something to clean up accidents to make potty training smoother. I love that they include this. And to keep your pup clean. This is so perfect for those of you that want to train your puppy. As your puppy grows, their training needs are going to evolve, and Pup Box is designed to grow with your dog. If you need a written guide to help you, these will help keep you on track with your training each month. Better get to reading these. Don't be fooled by this cuteness. Puppyhood is hard. Pup Box makes it easier. Go to Pup Box, use discount code Zach to get 50% off your first Pup Box when you sign up for any multi-month subscription. I'll have the link and discount code in the description of this video. Click thumbs up for a new video, this is Linus the Puppy. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, especially if you have a new dog. It's free, you'll be glad you did. Grab a copy of my best-selling dog training book. Keep up with the dog training revolution between videos at Zach George on Instagram. I do lots of live Q and A's, give you training advice, as well as get to know you guys better. Communicating with a dog isn't exactly the most natural thing to them, especially when they're this young. So we have to delicately and methodically introduce the concept of communication to them. One thing we need to communicate to you is how to stop biting, I think. This is Sarah. Sarah is Linus's mom. How long have you been subscribed to my channel? I've had him for two weeks. Okay. So <laughs> two so <you're>, weeks. <laughs> welcome to the dog training revolution. What have you been training him so far? Sit. We've tried to work on lay down. Potter training has been going very well. How about puppy biting? How's that going? We try our best with that. Obviously, he's a big puppy biter. He's just chomping away here. Look at that. I'm, give me my finger back. Those are some sharp teeth. Dogs at this age, you know, they just like to bite on things. This is how they interact with the world. Add to that the fact that he's teething. This is so instinctive and natural to them. It's not very realistic to get rid of puppy biting like that. It's actually a weeks long process. There are three major ways to address puppy biting. First, place a strong emphasis on communicating to your dog what level of biting is acceptable and what isn't. Some people will make a loud yelping noise or something to discourage their dog from biting, but honestly, that's really up to you. Since you should be teaching your dog the difference between yes and no, a simple monotone no followed by restricting access to your flesh or clothing very consistently will play a big part in teaching them. When they do get you like this, let them know when they're biting hard, no, that hurts. You know, communicate that in your own way. No. In other words, it's just about communicating with your dog. Every no. time that you interact with them, you have to have a clear focus on improving that communication. I've got kind of a chunk of turkey in my hand and he's biting right now, but he's biting so softly. In other words, that's a step in the right direction. So don't feel like it needs to be all or nothing with your dog too. This will teach him how to bite more gently. Cause again, biting in and of itself isn't that bad if they're very gentle about it. Uh, you could always phase it out completely later on, but right now we wanna make it easy for him. Tolerate, even encourage soft biting or promptly communicate when biting is too rough by instantly eliminating their access to whatever it is they're biting. Dogs like this, they tend to bite a little when you touch them firmly. I mean, there's a good example right there. Mm -hmm. Like if you touch their feet, cause they're sensitive, you can see them squirming, mm -hmm. but I actually wanna get them real comfortable with being handled. So I'm gonna touch him and let him nibble on that turkey. You see, he's not biting, he's licking right now. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. And licking, at least at this point, mm -hmm. a lot better than biting, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm gonna touch his ears. Again, another sensitive area. While I'm touching his ears, you can see I'm letting him nibble right here because he's behaving acceptably. We're also giving him this positive association of being touched firmly and awkwardly like this of getting turkey too. So that'll condition him to be like, oh, okay, when people touch me firmly, I get something real good. Mm -hmm. So that's really valuable. Because I mean, imagine, you know, sometime in the future, a four-year-old child comes up to him and pulls his tail or something. Mm -hmm. You know, you wanna make sure that he's going to react well. Rather than just disciplining your dog or putting him in timeout, show them what is okay to chew on. Can you please stop chewing on my watch? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Secondly, consistently redirecting your dog to bite on acceptable things like a toy is likely to satisfy the requirement to bite on something. And what I like about this toy that comes with the pup box is that it has different textures that keeps puppies engaged. When our dog is engaging us like this, they're really just trying to say, hey, I wanna interact with you, let's do something. And I think that's really healthy in general. So I will take a toy and I'm gonna try to get his attention on this tug toy right here and let him know, look, you can bite on this all day long. Let's see if that works. Sometimes it just 
just takes a little coaxing, you know? Mm -hmm. In other words, we don't just put it down like that. We want to move it around, make it exciting. Yeah, there we go. One of the reasons I like to go straight into tug of war with a puppy bite or two is because you're really teaching them how to play tug of war, you know? And tug of war is a real valuable currency. And just because you do this doesn't mean he's just going to be magically attracted to the tug toy. You know, he still may get your, your sleeves or your clothing from time to time. And in those instances, we just want to redirect him to the thing that's okay to chew on. He hasn't really bit me lately. He's been focused all on this. This is a good thing. I didn't expect lunging at my face. I mean, oh, right. What do you suggest I do whenever he does that? Because usually it's whenever we're like laying in my bed and he just like goes at it. When dogs get really overexcited, like they're lunging at your face and you're trying to redirect them and they're having none of it, then a brief time out for 30 seconds to two minutes is a good idea. But then, you know, probably bring them out and give them an opportunity to listen again. Another good thing to do is probably take them on a short walk or something like that to get some of that extra energy out when they're in that really rambunctious mode. Now, in some cases, you don't necessarily want to rile your dog up and get them playing. In some cases, you just want to encourage calm behavior. That's where using food instead of a toy comes into play. As you can see, he, he knows I've got some turkey in this hand over here. And I, I actually want to illustrate something right here. I'm going to give him just a tiny piece of turkey just to let him know I've got something good. And I want to point out something. Watch how hard it is to get him biting now. I'm actually going to egg him on a little bit and play with him and see how he... Do you see the biting? I mean, it's, he's, it's almost non-existent there. Do you know why that is? That's because when a dog gets into food mode, they're like, oh, I don't care about biting anymore. I want some of that food. I'm going to go ahead and give him another little piece there. And for those of you wondering at home, is this rewarding the biting because he was just biting and you gave him a treat? Not in the slightest. I'm not rewarding the biting. I'm rewarding the intermittent period of time there where he didn't bite. Third, redirecting your dog into a standard training session using a good treat will go a long way to showing your dog how you want them to behave instead of biting. You can't have refrigerated meat all the time, so it's important to have high value treats like this accessible so that you can easily snap into training mode when necessary. And if you taught your dog to sit, then we'll just lure him back into a sit right there. So when those biting fits start, consistently redirecting him into a sit mm -hmm. is a great way to get traction on the biting. These tricky trainer treats come with a two month pup box. Obviously Linus loves them. That's an example of redirecting him then, getting his attention on you so now he's not biting. Right there, he's biting me, but I'm gonna withdraw my hand, right? Maybe let's get a look at me. Yes. And give your dog something easy to do every time they start to bite. Yeah, there you go. Hey, hey, hey. Sit. There you go. Boy. Good job. Good. Really? <laughs> he likes you. Yeah, he's, he's biting on my watch band. Let me get his attention on me. I'll take it. Even an upside down look at me. Cool. Nice job. You're such a lap dog. This is going to be cute when you're 90 pounds. Getting his attention off of biting and onto obedience like this is such a great way to address puppy biting. We've been working on lie down, but it's off and on. Sometimes he'll do it and sometimes he won't. Okay. It's just not consistent. Well, that was pretty good. <laughs> just, yeah. When you have a puppy biter like this, it's pretty easy to predict when they're going to be in a bitey mood. They'll foreshadow, they'll start slow, and they can get more vigorous. So it's important for you as their person to be one step ahead of them. So if you've got your treats handy, which they should be everywhere throughout the house when you have a dog this young, and you have some toys here and there, then you ought to be able to grab them and either convert it into a play session with them in order to build that bond and play with them, which is very powerful and will yield great results in future training, or redirect them into a training session. It's important that you not just rely on playing with a toy or converting it into an obedience lesson with food. You really need to do a combination of both of these things. A lot of people get thrown off because it doesn't work like immediately. Mm -hmm. You have to do this like hundreds of times over the next few weeks. I just tried to be consistent. That's the magic word. I mean, because I'm a subscriber. The other huge part of resolving puppy biting is making sure that you're managing their environment. Mm -hmm. In other words, like some people have small kids in the house. If you're a parent and you have young kids, please understand that it is your responsibility to manage your dog and keep them from play biting the kids. It's not realistic to have young kids go through the actions that we've covered today. We manage them by having them on leash even inside. And a dog who bites a lot is likely to be energetic. With dogs that have a lot of energy, 
what is it we need to do with them? Exercise them. You can't bypass exercise when a dog is very energetic. Puppy biting like this can go on until a dog is about five months old. Uh, it can go on much longer into adulthood if you don't address it. So some level of puppy biting is pretty normal for those first few months. Remember, your goal isn't to eliminate it quickly. Your goal is to reduce it over several weeks. Click thumbs up for Sarah and Linus. They did a great job today. If you've got a new dog, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It's completely free. What else do you guys want to see Linus learn? Tell me in the comments below. Go to pupbox.com and enter discount code Zach to get 50% off of your first pup box when you sign up for any multi-month subscription. Keep up with the dog training revolution on Instagram, at Zach George. I'm gonna have that link below. We do lots of live broadcasts over there, lots of training advice. Get a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution, too. And if you also want a signed book, check us out on Patreon. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good job today. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do, the, you gotta do that.